Now, I'm going to talk about molecular collapse of evolution. There is a big question in front of the evolution that blocks every other steps. How did life begin on Earth? Evolution tells to this question that life begin on Earth with a single cell suddenly appears. But we know that there is no room for chance in nature. Not even a single person could ever build a single cell with the advanced technologies of 20th century. Now I will talk about some of the evolutionist scientists' confessions about this subject, about the origin of life. For example, here is the Alexander Oparin. He is a Russian evolutionist. He wrote a book in 1936 and it's called The Origin of Life. In his book he confesses about how he, is, he doesn't know the answer of the origin of life. And he says in here that unfortunately, however, the problem of the origin of the cell is perhaps the most obscure point in the whole study of the evolution of organisms. Lots of scientists try to uh, find out that the cell might appear by coincidence. But every experiment, they found that it is impossible. The cell is too complex to appear by coincidence or by chance. Here you can see the Professor Klaus Doze. He is, a, he is the president of the biochemistry department of the Johannes Gutenberg Institute in Germany. And also he confesses about his experiments. And here they, he says that at the present all discussions and principal theories and experiments in the field uh, either end in statement or in a confession of ignorance. And now you can see the Jeffrey Bada. And now you can see the Jeffrey Bada. He is a ge geochemist in the San Diego Scripps Institute. He is 
uh, confessing about himself and also other evolutionists helpless situation while they are coming to the end of the 20th century and he says that they have still the same question how did life originate on earth On the Darwin's Day, the Darwin didn't know that the cell was too complex. With the simple microscopes, they see the cell just like a stain. But, and Darwin and his followers, they thought that the cell might appear just by coincidence and easily. But uh, in the 20th century, with the uh, advanced technologies, with the electron microscopes, we know that the cell is too complex to appear by chance. And Darwin and his followers, they thought the evolution theory, and they based this theory on this delusion. the chance. And the cell is too complex to appear by coincidence because when we look into a cell, we can see that it has some power stations. And it has some transferring uh, systems in it, that it carries some raw materials from one place to another in the cell. And also we can see that it has a data bank to collect all the, uh, to report all the information about the products. And also it has some city guards to, that control everything that comes into the cell or goes out of the cell. We can compare it with a city like New York or London or Paris maybe. But uh, it's crowded as a city, it's crowded as a city and also complex like a city. And W. Hethroff, also an evolutionary scientist, he uh, confesses about this subject. And he says that even an elementary type of a cell, a cell's mechanism, is too complex than any machine uh, that human being ever thought or even imagined. 